Okay, good morning. Let's, uh, let's begin with a word of prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we come before you and we thank you for your blessings and your care towards us. We thank you that we are able to share each other's company and to open your word and to discover the things that you have revealed for our instruction so that we might learn about you and your Son and your ways and be ready for your kingdom. We pray that your kingdom will come soon and that you would help us until that time to be alive to how you would have us to live. So be with us as we look together at your word this day and bless us in our studies. For we come to you through Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> So this morning, I want to talk about you know, where bad things come from. And we can divide that really into two areas. So one is sin. Yeah, the bad things that we do. And then the other thing is when you know, events happen that have a bad impact upon our life. It could be large things, like recently there was a volcano in New Zealand. Or it could just be a, a smaller thing, you know, we fall over one day and we break our leg. So bad events sometimes happen in our lives. So we'll start off with, with sin. So the Bible is very clear about who is responsible for sin. انجیل بسیار واضح هست در مورد این که چه کسی مسئولیت گناه داره. Let's uh, have a look at what Jesus has to say in Mark chapter 7. بریم انجیل لوقا باب 7 رو نگاه کنیم. Mark which verse? Um, Shannon's dark. No. <laughs> Sixteen? No, 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 no. The next one, I think. I will say, look at sixteen, but let's... Um, hands dark. Hands dark. Hands dark. Well, uh, half. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, have a lot of rituals which they use both in their worship of God and in their daily lives. And some of the Jewish leaders have been complaining to Jesus that his disciples didn't wash their hands properly. شکایت می بردن که چرا بعضی از هواریون دستاشون رو نمی شدن and Jesus is saying it's not outside things that are the most important it's things that come from the inside that are the most important ایسا مسیح هم جواب می دهی که چیزهای بیرونی نیستن که ما رو نجس می کنن و چیزهایی که ما رو نجس می کنن از درون می کنن it's good to wash your hands if you're going to eat این کار خوبیه که دست تو بشوری اگر میخوای غذا بخوری. But what's more important is 
yeah, the bad things that you might do. اما چیز مهمتر کارهای بدی است که ممکن است انجام بدهید. The sins that you commit that are contrary to what God wants. گناهانی که مرتکب میشی که خلاف خواسته خدا هستند. And Jesus says, yeah, those things don't come from outside; they come from inside. عیسی مسیح هم گفته این چیزها از بیرون نمیان و درون ما نشأت میگیرند. And Jesus was very critical of the Jews' approach. ایسا مسیح بسیار مقید بوده در مورد شیوه پرستش یهودیان اون رهبران یهودی دستاشون رو میشستن یه سری قواده خیلی خاص رو رعایت میکردن اما ایسا مسیح ناراحت بوده که اونا از درون اون اعتقاد راسخ رو نداشتن. So Jesus tells his disciples all those rules about where you should wash and what you should eat are not important. عیسی مسیح به حواریونش گفته اینکه چه چیزی رو بخوری یا اینکه دست تو باید بشوری مهم نیست. But what is important is how you behave. چیزی که مهمه رفتار شما هست. So let's now read verses 16 to23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23.23
lead to our own bad behavior. تفکرات خودمون هست که منجر به کارهای بد میشه. And we are free to choose how we behave. ما آزادانه اختیار داریم که چه جوری رفتار So the only one who is responsible for what I do is me. و تنها شخص مسئول برای کارهای من خود من است. The only person who is responsible for what you do is you. و تنها شخص مسئول برای کارهای شما خود شما هست. And Jesus is saying God wants us to take responsibility for our own behavior. عیسی مسیح میگه خدا از ما میخواد که ما مسئولیت کارهای خودمون رو بر عهده بگیریم. Now let's go to uh, the book of Genesis. Yeah, Bob uh, uh, Sheesh. Chapter 6. <coughs> and this is the time of Noah. <coughs> when God intervened to cause a flood to remove men and women from the earth. و در مورد زمانی هست که خدا سیلی رو ایجاد میکنه که بتونه انسان ها رو از زمین پاک کنه و خدا فقط نوح و خانواده شد نجاد داشت به خاطر اون ضعف و اون پلیدی هایی که در دنیا اون زمان بوده and God makes a comment about what man's heart is like و خدا نظرش رو در مورد اینکه قلب انسان چگونه هست میگه. So it's in um, آیه؟ آیه آیه پنج. Verse 5. Bob as she انسان بر زمین بسیار است. و هر نیت اندیشه های دل او پیوسته برای بدی صورت. So God saw that man's wickedness was great. <coughs> and that all the things that he imagined and all the thoughts that he had in his heart were always evil. And when God saw that situation, he decided it was time to intervene with a flood. و وقت خدا اینو دید تصمیم گرفت که الان وقتشه که با سیل این منقرضه شما and once again yeah, nobody else is blamed it's man who is responsible for his behavior و بار دیگه هیچ کسی رو ما اینجا مقصر نمیدیم و خود انسان هست که مسئول رفتارش yeah, these men and women had forgotten about the ways of God این مرد و زن ها راه و روش خدا رو فراموش کردن and instead were following their own thoughts and their own ambitions and as a consequence the world was full of violence yeah. I ask that yeah. The earth was full of violence because men were following their own ambitions and they'd forgotten about God. زمین پر از خشونت شده بود چون که انسان‌ها راه روش خدا را فراموش کرده بودند و راه روش خودشون. So God was going to remove men and women from the earth because men and women were the problem. خدا می‌خواست انسان‌ها را از زمین منقرض کنه چون که انسان‌ها بودند که اون مشکل زمین بودند. Because men and women are responsible for sin. Now, the New Testament draws attention to the floods that happened in the time of Noah. And it says, yeah, there is an example of God <coughs> intervening to change the world in a worldwide way. In a yek nazar be ma mide ke khoda chegune jahan o tagir mide dar eskei be jahan. 
it tells us that God is going to change our world in a worldwide way. و این بهمون نشون میده که خدا دنیا رو به صورت جهانی تغییر میده. Not with a flood. نه فقط با سه. But with the return of the Lord Jesus Christ in power. بلکه با بازگشت عیسی مسیح در قدرت. And the world is going to be changed. And there will be judgments in the world. Dunya qarare taghir mukhne va ruz rezaqat etfaq yo. And many of those people who oppose Jesus will be lost in those judgments. Va khali az un adam hayi ke bar khalaf Isa Masih qarar giriftan tuy un ruz bazanda hast. Because the problem of man following his own ideas and his own ambitions and forgetting about God is a big problem. چون که انسان ها راه و روش خودشون اگر برن و اهداف خودشون اگر دنبال بکنن یک مشکل بزرگ هست و این دلیلی هست که خدا ایسا مسیح رو قرار داده برای پس کار ایسا مسیح توی دو قسمت انجام میشه There was the first coming of Jesus that we read about in the New Testament. بخش اولش هست که ما در عهد جدید خوندیم. Now at that time, Jesus dealt with sin. در اون زمان عیسی مسیح با گناهان مقابله کرده. He dealt with sin within the context of his own life and his own behavior. عیسی مسیح با رفتار خودش و با جان خودش با اون مفهوم گناه مقابله کرده. And he overcame sin in his own human body by being always obedient to God. بچون است بر اون گناهان قلبه بکنه در اون جسم انسانی خودش از طریق اینکه همیشه مطیع خدا باشه. And the Bible says he condemned sin. و انجیل میگه اون چون است گناهان مغلوب کنه. And he did that by voluntarily. Allowing his, you know, human body, his human life, to be taken and killed. و اون از این طریق این کار انجام دادی که اجازه داده جان و بدن انسانیش به عنوان حالا اون قربانی گرفته بشه. And he was saying that look, you know, human life deserves death because of the sin that arises from inside it. و میگه انسان مستحق مرگ است به دلیل گناهانی که از درونش نشد میده. But when he allowed himself to be taken and killed, he did so in faith that God would raise him from the dead three days later. وقتی که اون این کار انجام میده با این ایمان هست که میدونست خدا سه روز بعدش اونو از مردگان بر میخیزاند. And we know that's what happened. God raised him from the dead. And opened the possibility of forgiveness and life because of the death and the resurrection of Jesus. In همون چیزی است که ما می دونیم که خدا با رستاخی زیسا مسی این کار برای ما ممکن کرد. So Jesus had a victory over sin in his own life. زیسا مسی با جان خودش بر گناهان پیروز شد. And provided the basis for our sins to be forgiven. و این پایه پایه بزاری کرد این روش رو که گناهان ما هم بتونه بخشیده بشه. So Jesus has dealt with sin for anybody who comes to God in the way in which the Bible describes. و عیسی مسیح بر گناهان قلبه میکنه برای افرادی که بر پایه روش های انجیل به سمت خدا می. But the problem of sin remains because the majority of people in the world aren't really interested in trying to come to God through Jesus. چیزی که از اون مشکلات و اون گناهان در دنیا میمونن چون که اغلب انسان ها دوست دارن راه روش خودشون رو پیش ببرن و از طریق عیسی مسیح نمیان جون. They want to follow their own ideas and they want to follow their own ambitions. And live a life without thinking about God. اونا دوست دارن ایده ها و تفکرات خودشون رو دنبال بکنن و زندگی تاکت بکنن بدون اینکه بتونن اون هدف رو دریافت. And Jesus's second coming, the second part of his work, 
is going to continue to deal with the problem of sin. و بار دومی هم که عیسی مسیح کارش میخواد انجام بده در مقابل با همین گناهان هست. By removing human governments and establishing the kingdom of God in the earth. از طریق از بین بردن دولت های دنیا و پایگذاری پادشاهی خودش روی زمین. When the people who are left in the earth will be taught to follow God's ways. از این طریق که انسان هایی که روی زمین موندن بهشون آموزش داده میشه که راهنمایش خدا رو دنبال کنن. And human behavior with all the excess of bad things that men and women do will be controlled by the kingdom that Jesus rules. تمامی انسان ها برخلاف اون اشتیاقشون برای انجام گناه از طریق اون پادشاهی خدا کنترل میشن. So God will intervene very soon in a very dramatic way. و خدا خیلی سریع و از روشی دراماتیک این کار انجام میده اقدام میکنه. Like he did in the time of Noah. مثل زمانی که در زمان پیامبر نوح بوده. By sending Jesus back to the earth. و از طریق بعدی که میخواد انجام بده از طریق عیسی مسیح است که برمیگرده به زمین. Yeah, and both parts of the work of Jesus are dealing with this problem. و هر دو بخش این کار عیسی مسیح با گناه داره سر His death and resurrection provided for forgiveness. مرگ بر استاخیردش که برای بخشش گناهان ما بوده. And his second coming will establish the kingdom of God to remove you know, man's wickedness from politics and from everyday life. بخش دوم کارشون هم این هست که بتونه فساد انسان ها رو در زندگی روزمره از بین ببرن به صورت کل. And all of that is directed towards dealing problems that come from man, that come from men and women. Now, تمام این کارها با این موضوع سر کلی میزنه که گناهان و مشکلاتی که از انسان نشأت میگیره. Because ever since the Garden of Eden, when man decided to believe his own ideas instead of what God had said. چون از زمانی که خدا متوجه شد که انسان تصمیم گرفته که راه روش خودش رو بره بدون برخلاف نظر خدا انسان بوده که مشکل بوده و انسان بوده که دشمن خدا است انجیل میگه اگر ما میخوایم از این بخششی که عیسی مسیح برای ما فراهم کرده استفاده کنیم We have to recognize that we are sinners. میگی باید ما بدونیم که خودمون گناهکار هستیم. Take responsibility for ourselves. مسئولیت گناهانمون رو خودمون برآورده بگیریم. And come to God in the way that He has provided through the work of Jesus. و به سمت خدا بریم از طریق راه روشی که خدا از طریق کار عیسی مسیح برامون ایجاد کرده. So the responsibility for sin. Lies with men and women. As مسئولیت گناهان بر عهده انسان ها هست. We can't blame any other person or any other thing. ما نمیتونیم هیچ کس دیگر رو مسئول بدونیم و سرزنش کنیم. Let's have a look at the letter to James. Letter to James, second half of the New Testament. Thirteen to sixteen. Oh yes, yes, that's the one. Chapter one, verse sixteen. Thirteen to sixteen, yeah. Sixteen to sixteen. Each chapter, each chapter, each chapter, each chapter, each chapter, each chapter, each chapter,
و کسی را نیز وسوسه نمی کند هنگام که کسی وسوسه می شود هوای نفس خود خود اوست که او را می پذیرد و به دا می افکند هوای نفس که آبستن شود گناه می داید و گناه نیز چون به سمر و ست مرگ به باری آورد برادران عزیز و من عزیز من شبید همین Okay, so again, you know, the Bible is telling us very clearly that each one of us is responsible for our own sin. Yeah. That lusts arise in our thinking and in our bodies. And when we allow those lusts to turn into action, then that's sin. وقتی که ما به اون آتش اجازه میدیم، اون کار منجر به گناه میشه. And the fact that we sin means that we deserve death. و در نتیجه گناهان ما لایق مرگ هستیم. So again, very clear, we are responsible for our own behavior. پس دوباره مشخص میکنه که ماها خودمون مسئول رفتارمون است. And we certainly can't blame God for the things that we do. And there are some Christians that teach that there is a, a supernatural power that tempts us to sin. That's not what the Bible says. That idea is not in the Bible at all. این چیزی نیست که داخل انجیل گفته شده و این yeah. ایده داخل انجیل اصلا نیست The Bible says that we ourselves are responsible for our own sin انجیل که میگه ما خودمون شخصا مسئول گناهانمون هست And if we want to blame somebody else or some other power that we have invented then really we're blaming God پس اگر ما بخوایم شخص دیگه یا حتی یک قدرت دیگر ما بخوایم سرزنش بکنیم در حقیقت ما داریم خدا رو سرزنش میکنیم because what we're saying is that God has allowed something else to tempt us پس چیزی که ما در اون شرایط میگیم اینه که خدا اجازه داده یک کس دیگه ما رو وسوسه بکنه and there's no reason why God should allow something else to tempt us و هیچ دلیل قانع کننده ای نیست که چرا باید خدا یه اجازه ای بده که یکی ما رو وسوسه کنه but the reality is Yeah, we don't need anything else to tempt us. We know very well how easy it is that we find to imagine, you know, bad things in our minds. در واقع ما خودمون می‌دونیم نیاز نیست کسی از بیرون بخواد یه چنین چیزایی بهمون یاد بده و ما رو بس بس کنه. ما خودمون با تخیلمون و از درونمون می‌دونیم چه جوری کار باید انجام بده. So this is, you know, very clear in the Bible. The sin comes from man, man's heart, man's thinking. انجیل کاملا واضح هست که میگه گناه از انسان میاد از طریق قلبش یا از طریق ذهنش and it's because the problem lies with man that Jesus had to be a man in order to overcome our problem پس چون این گناهان از انسان نشأت میگیره عیسی مسیح میبایست یک انسان باشه تا بتونه بر اون گناهان غلبه بکنه yeah it's all very straightforward and logical خیلی منطقی هست چیزایی که داریم باید بگیر So let's um, go to the uh, the first letter of John just a little later in the New Testament اول یوهن نار بی چطر اول یوهنس First letter First letter اول یوهن اول یوهن اول یوهن اول یوهن اول یوهن اول یوهن چپتر تو دنیا و آن چرا در آن است دوست مدارید اگر کسی دنیا را دوست بدارد محبت پدر در او نیست زیرا هرچه در دنیاست یعنی هوای نفس 
حوثهای چشم و غرور مال و مقام نه از پدر بلکه از دنیاست دنیا و حوثهای آن گذراست اما آن که اراده خدا را به جامعه آورد تا اول باقی می ماند So there, John uh, describes the different types of sin for us. Yeah. Lust arises from thinking about things that we see and find desirable. Or it arises from feelings that we feel within our bodies. یا حوث هایی هست که از تن ما میان و ما اونو در بدن اون حس میکنیم Or it arises from our pride یا حوث هایی که از غرور ما نشد میگیره And this is the type of behavior and the type of motivation that you know, guides the behavior of most men and women in the world و این گونه های رفتاری و علاقه ای هست که بیشتر مرد ها و زن ها در دنیا از اون پیروی میکنن. <تصفيق> میگه ما نباید جوری رفتار بکنیم، رفتارهایی بکنیم که از این حوث ها نشد میگیرن. Instead we should be trying to love your God and live in a way that pleases him. و به جای اون ما باید تلاش بکنیم که خدا رو بشناسیم و روش هایی رو یاد بگیریم که خدا رو شاد میکنیم Because this type of behavior that fills the world is going to finish چون این رفتارهایی که در حال حاضر دنیا رو پر کرده قرار اتمام پیدا کنه yeah, and it finishes in two ways و به دو روش این تموم میشه yeah, on an individual level When a man or woman dies, that's the end of their lusts and their ambitions. در اسکیل فردی وقتی که یه نفر میمیره اون انگیزه و هوا هوس‌هاش هم از بین میره. And if we haven't done anything about the problem about sin, when we die, we are lost forever. پس اگر ما کاری برای این گناهان و هوا هوس‌هامون نکنیم، وقتی ما میمیریم برای همیشه از دست رفته است. But the whole system of a world that follows man's desires is going to come to an end. و همینطور قرار سیستم جهانی که بر اساس خواسته های انسانی داره جلو میره قرار یه روزی تموم بشه. And it's going to come to an end with the return of Jesus. و قرار از طریق بازگشت عیسی مسیح این اتفاق بیفته. The establishment of God's kingdom in the earth. و با پایگذاری پادشاهی خدا در زمین این اتفاق میفته. <coughs> and we've got a choice really you know, do we want to be in God's kingdom or are we going to remain part of a world that is coming to an end ما یه انتخاب داریم میتونیم ما تلاش بکنیم برای ورود به اون پادشاهی خدا یا میتونیم جزی از همین سیستم جهانی که قرار پایان پیدا کنه بمون and if we want to be part of that kingdom و اگر میخوایم یک بخش از اون پادشاهی باشیم You know, it begins by recognizing that we're a sinner. و با این شروع میشه که ما باید بفهمیم ما گناهکاریم. Giving thanks to God that He's prepared to forgive us because of the work of Jesus. از خدا تشکر بکنیم که خدا به ما این امکان داد که بخشیده بشه از طریق کار عیسی مسیح. And trying to live as if we were in the kingdom today. و تلاش کنیم جوری زندگی بکنیم که انگار ما همین امروز در اون پادشاهی خدا هست. If I say well, you know, now I'm going to go and do lots of bad things and really enjoy myself, but I hope that God will forgive me so I can be in his kingdom. اگر من بخوام اینجوری رفتار بکنم که همه چیزایی که خودم دوست دارم الان انجام بدم و بعدا بگم خب خدا منو میبخشه. I'm showing that I really have no interest in being in God's kingdom. من دارم اینجور نشون میدم که من هیچ علاقه ندارم که در اون پادشاهی خدا باشم. Because if I have an interest in being in God's kingdom, then I won't live in a bad way now. I will be trying to live like it was God's kingdom today. چون من اگر واقعا علاقه داشته باشم در پادشاهی خدا باشم، الان هم جوری رفتار میکنم که انگار در اون پادشاهی هست. If I don't want to live like that now, why would I want to live like that forever? 
من اگر نخوام همین الان جوری زندگی بکنم که انگار داخل پادشاهی خدا هستم خب چرا باید تلاش بکنم که واردش بشم و برای همیشه زندگی بکنم Yeah, so we have to show by the way that we live that we are responding and we want to be part of God's plan and His kingdom. ما باید همین الان جوری زندگی بکنیم که نشون دهنده این باشه که ما علاقه من به حضور در پادشاهی خدا است. You know what we really want is to be rid of sin so that we can serve God. چیزی که ما میخوایم این است که ما بتونیم به صورت کامل از قید و بند گناه آزاد بشیم تا بتونیم خدا رو کاملا خدمت کنیم. Yeah. That's our choice to make. این انتخاب ما هست که بتونیم انجامش بدیم. God has given us this time of opportunity to make that choice. خدا بهمون زمانش رو داده که ما بتونیم اون انتخاب رو انجام بدیم. So the Bible is absolutely clear. You know where does where does sin come from? Well, sin comes from men and women. <coughs> که کاملا واضح داره نشون میده که گناه از انسان ها نشد. But then there are also, you know, bad events that happen. و همین طور ما اتفاقهای بد داریم که اتفاق میافتد. Now, actually, many of these you know, bad things that happen in life are made worse because of the sinful behaviour of men. خیلی از این رویدادهای بد بدتر میشن به خاطر گناهانی که ما خودمون انسانها داریم انجام میدیم. There are you know, um, major disasters in which people can be caught up. Yeah, we refer to the volcano and there are other major disasters that happen. ما اتفاقهای بزرگ یه دیگه ای مثل آتش فشان رو داریم که بهش هم اشاره کردیم بلای طبیعی مرسیم But many of them are made worse than they would otherwise be because of man's behavior خیلی از این ها بدتر میشن به خاطر رفتارهای انسان So man isn't directly responsible but by his selfish behavior he often makes them worse انسان به صورت مستقیم مسئول این اتفاقا نیست اما به دلیل رفتارهای بدش معمولا باعث بدتر شدنش میشه. You know, just very recently there's been a, yeah, a big intergovernment conference about you know, reducing the factors that cause climate change. دارن اشاره میکنن به کنفرانس دولت ها در مورد کاهش کربن دیوکسید برای اون تغییرات آب و هوایی But it's very difficult for the politicians to agree. خیلی سخت برای سیاست مداره که بودن با هم متقاید بشن با هم یه با هم. Because they're too selfish to do what needs to be done. چون خیلی خودخواه هستن برای انجام کاری که باید انجام بشه. Yeah. I want Daniel to stop doing things that will have an impact upon the climate, but I don't want to stop doing those things. من میام دانیال از کاری که دانیال رو بتونم من کنم از چیزی که باعث اون تغییرات آب و هوای بشه ولی خودم اون کار انجام نمیدیم این همون جوری است که دولت مردا دارن رفتار میکنن و با رفتار خودخواهانشون این رویداد ها رو بتر remains and man isn't responsible if a volcano happens. ریشه این اتفاقات هنوز باقی میمونه و انسان مسئولیت نداره اگر یک آتش فشان اتفاق بیفته. God has arranged things according to his wisdom. خدا این اتفاقها رو جوری تنظیم کرده بر اساس خرد خودش. And because of sin being present in the world as a result of man's activity به دلیل حضور گناه در دنیا به خاطر رفتارهای انسان God introduced death as a necessity to control sin خدا برد و به اون معرفی کرده به عنوان یک فاکتور لازم برای کنترل گناه But he also in his wisdom arrange the world so that at times bad events happen. 
و خدا جوری دنیا رو تنظیم کرده که اتفاقات بد بیفته بر اساس خرد خودش that disasters are part of a world that is not fully in harmony with its creator برای طبیعی بخشی از دنیا هستن که بخشی از خود اون خدا نیستن And sometimes when disasters happen, as we have to be aware of the fact that the fact that it brings home to men and women the fact that they are, you know, creatures with only a temporary life. In the yada value, we can be in some ha that we are in the state of mawaqat, that we are in the state of mawaqat, and makes them think seriously about what God wants. و مجبورشون میکنه جوری تفکر بکنه که خدا واقعا چی میخواد so God can use bad events in order to have a good result و خدا میتونه از این رویدادهای بد جوری استفاده بکنه که به یک نتیجه خوب منجر بشه that these bad events are linked to a world that is separated from God because of sin این اترویداده های بد با دنیای در ارتباط هست که به دلیل گناهان از خدا جدا هست و خدا از اینها استفاده میکنه که به همون یادآور بشه که زندگی واقعا برای چی هست Just turn back to the letter of James. بریم به نامه یعقوب ای برادران من هرگاه با آزمایش های گناهون رو بگو می شوید آن را کمان شادی بینگاری زیرا می دانید گذشتن ایمان شما از گیمته آزمایش ها پایداری به بار می آورد اما بگذاری پایداری کار خود را به کمان رساند تا باره و کامل شوید و چیزی کم برداشته باشید بس نه اف اگر ایونت هستند تو اس ما نمی شوید هستی ایونت ما وقتی اتفاق بد در اون میفته معمولا ازش خوشحال نمیشیم اما یعقوب میگه وقتی برام یه اتفاق بد میفته باید در موردش خوشحال باشیم چون قلبه بر این مشکلات و اتفاق ها به اون کمک میکنه که بالغ بشیم و شخصیت خودمون رو ارتقا بدیم You know that it can actually help our faith to grow. It teaches us to be patient. We have to remember that we have to be patient. To trust in God. To hold our faith and trust in God. So that if we have an interest in God, then God has an interest in us. پس اگر ما در خدا علاقه مندی داشته باشیم، خدا هم به ما علاقه دارد. And in His wisdom, He can use the bad things that happens to us to build us as people. در خیرات خدا خدا از اتفاقهای بد استفاده میکنه تا ما رو بسازه به عنوان یک مردم. To test us and improve our character. تا ما رو بسنجه و همین تو شخصیت ما رو ارتقا بده. So that these bad things that sometimes happen, they might be random. In the lives of people who aren't interested in God. این اتفاق های بد میتونه به صورت رندوم در زندگی آدم هایی باشه که به خدا ایمان دارن و آداب دارن. But they're not random in the lives of people who believe. اما در زندگی آدم هایی که ایمان دارن اتفاقی نیست. God uses them in order to develop us as people. خدا از اون استفاده میکنه که ما رو به عنوان یک ملت ارتقا بده. And whilst while we're experiencing difficulties, it might not make us happy. شاید در زمان تجربه اون مشکلات ما رو خوشحال نکنه. That God is able to use those difficulties to make something that will be really good for us in the long term. ولی خدا میتونه از اون مشکلات استفاده بکنه. 
که ما رو ارتقا بده در بلند مدت to help to develop a character that will be ready to enter God's kingdom که به ما کمک میکنه شخصیتی رو بسازیم که به اون کمک کنه که وارد اون پادشاهی خدا بشه and very often the people with the finest characters that we meet are people who have experienced a lot of bad things خیلی وقتا آدم هایی که ما میبینیم که شخصیت خیلی خوبی دارن آدم هایی هستن که خیلی اتفاق های بد برشون افتاده If our lives are always very easy اگر زندگی ما همیشه آسون باشه then easy for us to be kind of very superficial you know very simple superficial and lazy people خب برای ما خیلی آسون میشه که ما خیلی آدم های سطحی نگر و خیلی آدم های تنبل بشیم But experiencing problems in life gives us a strength of character. ولی تجربه این اتفاقها در زندگیمون به ما کمک میکنه که ما شخصیت قوی داشته باشیم. And God uses that in order to improve us. و خدا از اینها استفاده میکنه که ما رو ارتقا بده. In His wisdom. و در خیرد خودش. And we remember that the Lord Jesus Christ endured a lot of suffering. ما یادمون هست که میدونیم عیسی مسیح سختی های زیادی رو تحمل کردن وقتی که پاول مقدس تصمیم میگیره که عیسی مسیح رو پیروی کنه اون زندگی رو انتخاب کرد که با آموزش آموزه های عیسی مسیح بهش مشکلات زیادی رو وارد می‌کرد. آدمی بوده که به زندان افتاده. کسی هست که چندین بار شلاق خورده. با چوب زدنش. بعضی وقتا هم با سنگ زدنش. Yeah, he was shipwrecked at least four times. Shipwrecked. He went in. He was in a ship on the sea, and it sank in the storm. Aha. Chandin bar ham qarish kardan. He had a, you know, he endured many bad events. As khili atafal hai ye bado tunas taamal kona. And he says, you know, I think that the difficulties that we have now. Are a very very small thing. I think we can have more difficulties than we have now. It's very small compared to the great big wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. By this we can see how great the wonder of being in God's kingdom. Because I believe it will work for me, yeah, an eternal glory in God's kingdom. So I believe that this will help me to be in the eternal glory of God's kingdom. So whilst we don't like bad events, then sometimes, sometimes they actually, in God's wisdom, are good for us. But in fact, we want to be bad to us, but in the end, we are good for God. These are good things for us. Naomi there said I should tell you a story. Naomi am ki gofte ye dastan var, yani adeshon khasiye dastan var on tarif kona. When she was a small girl, she was walking home from school with a boy. Vakti ke dokhtar bache bude ba bache ay ba pesar ay digi be samdo kona mirafte. And the boy pushed her, and she fell in a in a big patch of stinging nettles. Okay. Un pesar ay bude shmi de ba miyafte dakhil ye tuda az chiz ay. Yeah, so she came home crying and with lumps all over her body. And so she said to her sister, "Why does God make bad things?" Yeah. She was a, a little girl wrestling with the problem of bad things. And sometimes we don't know why one bad thing happens. As a fact, we don't even know why one bad thing happens. But we believe that if we are trusting God, God will use these things for our good. But we believe that if we are trusting God, God will use these things for our good. But we believe that if we are trusting God, God will use these things for our good. But we believe that if we are trusting God, God will use these things for our good. But we believe that if we are trusting God, God will use these things for our good. But we believ
اعتماد داشته باشیم خدا از این چیزهای بد استفاده میکنه که برای خیر ما باشه Let's have a look at what Paul says in Romans chapter 8. باب هشت آیه بیست و هشت می دانیم در حق که خدا را دوست می دارند و بر طبق اراده او فرا خانده شده اند همه چیزها با هم برای خیریت در کار است so, For the believer, all things work together for good. Now at the time, we might not be able to see how the problems that we're having in our life are working for good. But we believe That that is true. ولی ما ایمان داریم که یه چیزی درست Because the Bible tells us that that's true. انجیل به همون میگه پس درست yeah. My junior sister died of cancer. خواهر کوچیک من به خاطر سرطان Left behind three small daughters. سه تا دختر بچه هم داشتن And She was a, a faithful believer. یک ایماندار قوی بود yeah. I don't understand why that happened. I don't understand why God allowed it to happen. But I believe that everything that happens in the life of a believer happens for a reason that God knows. ولی من ایمان دارم هر چیزی که در زندگی ایمانداران اتفاق میفته به یک دلیلی اتفاق So while I don't understand, I trust that everything proceeded according to God's wisdom for a good reason. So I can't complain about it. I have to trust that God knows best. Yeah, so Paul is saying whilst things might randomly happen to people who don't know God. But for those who are believers and who are called to be part of God's purpose, everything is under the control of God. اما برای اون آدم هایی که ایمان دارند و میخوان وارد اون پادشاهی خدا بشن تمامی چیزها رندوم نیست و از قبل تنه شده است شاید ما بعضی از چیزها رو متوجه نشیم ولی اونها بر اساس خرد خدا اتفاق میوند so I think it was last week I quoted from Isaiah chapter 45 پدید آورنده روشنایی و خالق تاریکی موجد سعادت و آفریننده مصیبت آری من یهوه تمام اینها را به جا می آورم پدید آورنده روشنایی و خالق تاریکی موجد سعادت و آفریننده مصیبت 
آری من یهوور تمام اینها را به جا می آورد خدا اینجا ما مشخص می کنید که هیچ قدرت دیگه نیست و فقط خودشه last sin is man's responsibility از اونجایی که گناهان مسئولیت انسان هستند bad things are controlled by the power of god اتفاقهای بد از طریق قدرت خدا کنترل میشه and god can do things that we think are good and things that we don't like و خدا میتونه چیزایی رو انجام بده که ما فکر میکنیم خوبن و یا چیزایی که دوست نداره according to the greatness of his wisdom بر اساس بزرگی خرد خودش There's nobody else to think about. هیچ کس دیگه نیست که ما بتون بهش فکر کنیم. No other power that we need to be afraid of. هیچ قدرت دیگه نیست که ما بتون ازش بترسیم. There is only one God. و فقط یک خداست. And he has no competition. و هیچ رقیبی هم نداره. Yeah. And this is really saying what Paul said in Romans. این دقیقاً همون چیزی هم میگه که پولس در رومیان گفت. You know, bad things are part of our world because God has made it like that. اتفاقهای بد بخشی از دنیای ما هستن چون خدا اینجور اونا درست کرد. It's part of his response to the sin that man introduced. بخشی از جواب خداست به گناهانی که انسان انجام میده. But he uses those bad things to move his purpose forward. اما خدا از این اتفاقهای بد استفاده میکنه برای که اهداف خودش رو پیش ببرد. according to his wisdom بر اساس خرد خودش and he can use them in the lives of the people that love him for their good و میتونه از اونها جوری استفاده بکنه که به قیمت جون آدمهایی باشه که اونو دوست دارن و به سمت خودش to develop their characters to give them strength of character تا بتونه اون شخصیتشون رو ارتقا بده yeah. so that we are ready for God's kingdom تما بتونیم آماده اون پادشاهی خدا باشیم having overcome challenges and grown through challenges و با غلبه بر اون مشکلات و رشد کردن در اون مشکلات prepared by God's activity in our lives to take our place in that wonderful time that will soon be seen in the earth forever آماده شدن با این فعالیت هایی که خدا برای ما ایجاد میکنه برای حضور در اون پادشاهی بسیار زیبایی که قرار برام. قسمت اول گفته بود که هر اتفاقی که برای آدم میفته به درون خودش بستگی داره رفتی به بیرون نداره الان ما این آخر بس رسیدیم به جایی که میگه که کنسر و یه سر اتفاقا و مردن و فران اینا اون خواست خداست ما نمیدونیم علتش رو آخرش من نفهمیدم خواست خداست یعنی که At the first of the stream, we said uh, everything that is bad it comes from our inside. Uh, but the, at the end of end of the speech, you said, for example, uh, cancer or everything or death, it's uh, because something uh, that happened, God knows, and we don't know what why why did it happen. So yeah. The so so we need we need to distinguish yeah between sin yeah. and bad things that happen. باید تفاوت قابل بشه که بین گناه و اتفاقات بدی که اتفاق میفته. Yeah. And sin is entirely down to man. گناه کلا کاملش برای خود انسان به درون ذاتش. And because of sin we have mortal bodies. و به خاطر همون گناهی که بدن و جسم فانی داریم. So we will be, you know, we might suffer from diseases and we certainly will die. و اون ممکن است اینجی که واسه سعی بیماری که داره زنده میکشه بیمه. That's all the consequence of the entrance of sin into the world. و همه اینا در نتیجه ورود و ورود اون گناه به دنیا امروزیه. But God can control the bad events. Good. The, the bad events. Yeah. God can control them. گناه میتونه اون اتفاقی بعد رو کنترل کنه داره که داشته باشه. So whilst the disease 
might happen because we have a body that is a consequence of sin. اون اتفاقات بعد گناه بیماری ها و همه اینا اتفاق میفته به خاطر اینکه ذات و درون ما یه بدن گناهکاره God can control it. So God, you know, may choose to heal us. ولی همه اینو بازم برمیگرد به خدا چون خدا میتونه انتخاب کنه و سعی کنه که ما رو شفا بده و نجات بده. Or he may choose to allow it to happen. و حتی اجازه هم داره اختیار شده که اجازه داره و ما اتفاق بوده و حتی به من سرانجام داشته باشه. Because he is using that event, that bad thing, in order to achieve something better in his purpose. Yeah. So there's, you know, there's an interplay between those two things. A, a link between the two. Yeah. But, you know, God, God never does sin. God always does what is right. Yeah, that's entirely down to man. But things that we think are bad that happen in life. If God wants to, he can choose to control those things. God can even cause them to happen. Because God is capable of achieving something better out of something that we think is bad. Yeah. So you have to just distinguish the habit between these two things. من میخوام بگم که خدا مداخله نمی کنه تو عالم خلقت این درون آدم این گناه کردن رو بود منظورش من اینه God doesn't intervene این مداخله بونه عالم خلقت دخالتی نداره آدمی که به گناه و بدی صحب پیدا میکنه بود He doesn't intervene to بد نتیجهش این creation To creation It's our body scene You know It's our inside That is seen and you are seen God doesn't intervene in whether we are a sinner or not. Yeah. 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 Because God has given us a choice. Yeah. 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 But God didn't want to do that. Because you can't compel love. So God has given us free will so we could choose to follow his way or we could choose to do something different. یا تو گزینه دوم اون کاری که خدا فکر می‌کنه درست سر انجام بده. And it's only by giving us the freedom to do sin. و این همش به خاطر اون آزادی عمل و بیانیه که به ما داده که گناه انجام بده. The God gives the opportunity for us to love him and for our response to him to be a genuine and real response. و این به خاطر اون اختیاری که ما داده تا بهش محبت کنیم، عشق بورزیم و یکی از اعضای خانوادهش باشیم و بهش ما معتقد باشیم. سوری، این لوک چاپتر 8 ورس 2 آی تینک it's directly aimed at imi- that invisible power who we were talking about. It. Okay. And it, their affect to our behavior. Okay. Yes. No, no, sorry. To... Uh, and just from back, same book, that the energy does not exist, that it is from the outside, but it is from the inside. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
طبق این مثال از ایشون سوال کردم توی بایبل اشاره شد حالا منتظر پاسخش شد اوکی okay. so I have, I have a complete presentation on that topic which I will have to give you one time. Right. So this this Let me try and sum it up in five minutes. Right. In the Gospels, you get the language of demons or evil spirits. Okay. The background in the Old Testament is that it refers to false gods, idols that were worshipped. So different nations worshipped different false gods that they had imagined that very often reflected the darkest things that they could imagine. و ملت ها قوم های مختلف چیزایی می پرسن که اصلا درست نه و توی ذهن تاریک خود اونا اصلا به عنوان خدا تصدیل می کردن و اونا مثلا هر که مثلا این کسی که بود می پرسیده بگنگی یه قدرت خیلی روحانی و خیلی قویه که مثلا نه هر می پرسن بگنگی خیلی عالیه این Or they thought that spirit powers were the messengers of the gods they worshipped و اون چیزی که دریافت می‌کردن می‌دیدن فکر می‌کردن که الان خب این قدرت روحانی اون پیغام پیغامی که خدا هم واسه من فرستاده and the, the old testament prophets say to israel this is complete rubbish و اون پیغمبری که توی عهد عجیب بوده کاملا و خیلی سریع گفته که اینا کلا چرت و پرت مزخرفه don't follow these ideas they are not true این ایده‌ها رو دنبال نکنید که هیچ کدومشون اصلا درست نیستن Um, and Israel did worship those gods, which is why they were taken away by their enemies. So the Old Testament is very clear. You know, there's no truth in those ideas. And yet, we find that language in the New Testament, especially in part of the healing ministry of Jesus. Now, in some chapters in the Bible, we get described for us how the prophets who taught about those false gods behaved. و توی قسمت های کتاب مقاده از داره ما یاد بیده و تعلیم بده که چجوری راجع به اون خدایی که قبلا میپرستن فکر کنیم و نظر داشته باشیم and what they used to do by certain techniques of movement and shouting was to work themselves up into what we call an ecstatic state و اون چیزی که ما فکر میکردیم داشتیم انجام میدیم یه دونه حالت کاری بوده که ما فکر میکردیم درسته و And in that state, you know, sometimes they could do, you know, surprising things. And they claimed that when they were like that, they were being possessed by the God. و وقت ادعا میکنن که وقتی تو اون جلال هستن خدا داره رحمهشون میکنه کمکشون میکنه باهاشون and they behaved yeah. erratically and they terrified the ordinary people و خیلی بد و زشت رفتار میکنن و حتی باعث ترسوندن افراد موسمی شدن yeah. you know I've traveled a lot in Africa خودش سفره خیلی زیادی به آره آفرگاه داشته 
in, in Africa, the, the juju man or the witch doctor does exactly the same thing. Yeah. And they do the same thing in voodoo in the West Indies. آفریقا جا دیگر رو دقیقا همین رفتار رو انجام دیگه مثلا میترسونه حالت مردم هست و حالت اخوازی طوری They work themselves up into a state where they behave erratically and they claim that it's because they're being possessed by spirits و این میان مثلا توی من الان وای میسن یه کارهای انجام میدن و لباسه میکشن که میگن که خوانه اون قدرت روحانی که خدا به من داره و خاطر اونه که من اینجا هستم But it's a trick ولی همه اینه یه حقوق کلکه But in Bible times, people that behave like that were very, very common, very familiar. And if somebody had a disease and it caused them to um, suffer from fits, or they had you know, a mental problem that caused them to behave in a strange way, کسی که مثلا یه بیماری خاصی داشت که مثلا باعث یه اتفاق ناتوانی جسمی می‌شد یا مثلا مشکل ذهنی داشت مثلا باعث یه رفتار غیر عادی می‌شد then people used to say you know that boy is sick he behaves like a demon possessed prophet و اون موقع مردم گفتن که مثلا اون پسر که مثلا بیماره رو می‌بینی مثلا اون به خاطر اینه که یه کار زشت کرده علی مثلا پیغمبر یا مثلا همچین چیزی they didn't believe in demons But they used the picture of how those prophets behaved as a way of describing the symptoms of somebody who mental illness caused to behave in a strange way or somebody who had a fit. کسایی که غیر از اون رفتار میکردن مثلا حالا چه مریض جسمی اونا چه مریض مثلا ذهنی هر کی غیر از اون میدن میگفت مثلا این دیمونه شما مثلا شیطان داخلشه yeah. so that's why we find the language in the miracles of healing that Jesus does when it's addressing mental illness و این هم ادبیاتی که زمانی که عیسی مسیح داره مریض کسی که مثلا ذهنی مریض هست و شفا میده پیدا میکنه و میبینه The miracles that Jesus does are all parables. So you know Jesus gives parables, does tell stories. Yeah? But Jesus' miracles are not just records of what Jesus did, they also Are, you know, they contain teaching. So you get the situation where somebody is suffering from you know, a disease of the mind. And the Bible says, well, if somebody is suffering from a disease of the mind, then that's really a picture of what man is like. Because sin is like a disease that affects our minds. It causes us to behave in a destructive way. و باعث میشه که توی روش عجیب قریب و احمقانه انجام بدیم کاره احمقانه انجام بدیم We might think that we like to behave like this شاید فکر میکنی که خیلی خوش امونه و دوست داریم که اینجوری رفتار کنیم But ultimately it leads to death ولی به صورت اوتوماتیکلی اصلا کلن به مرگ منجا میشه So in the healing ministry of Jesus then those with a, a disease of the mind are a picture of men controlled by sin و زمان که مثلا ایسا مسیح داشته موجزش انجام داده و داشته مثلا کسی که مریضی ذهنی داشته خوب میکرد شفا میداده دقیقا داشته کسی خوب میکرد که از به خاطر گناه داشته مرسش کنترل میشده And sometimes that is overlaid with the language of evil spirits Evil spirits و این یه زبان اون فراتر از روح شیطانیه 
ادبیات فراتر از روح شیطانی because the people at that time used that language to describe the symptoms of the disease و مردم اون زمان از این ادبیات سو میگن که کسی که مثلا بیماری های این گونه رو مثلا بیان کنه توصیفش کنه but in the bible evil spirits comes from the the imaginary false gods that people worship و این گروه ایتانی که تصور همه انسان اون زمانه همش به خاطر اون پرستش بودها و خدای غیر واقعی میاد and the bible you know uses that again as a picture of man in his sinfulness because those strange ideas arose from man's imagination و همه اینا رو که تا مقدس دوره استفاده میکنه که این اشاره کنه به اینکه همه اینا از تصورات گناه آلود انسان میاد و همه اینو به خاطر اینکه انسان انسان گناهکاره و ذهنش دوست داره گناه انجام بده so men who have no interest in the things of god کسایی که هیچ علاقه به کار خدا ندارن are like not cases شبیه کسایی که خود <laughs> like people who are running around because of uh, the dark imagination that has gripped them and is leading them to a destructive way of life. And And Jesus' ability to heal mental illness is a picture of what he can do for us. To rid our minds of the control of sin. And help us to live in a healthy way in applying our lives towards what God wants. و اینکه کمک میکنه همونجوری که خدا هم میخواد و به سمت راه روش که خدا دوست داره رفت بریم جلو. There's a lot more that I can add to that, but in a, in a short, in a short. تیم چیزهای بیشتر که میتونه اضافه کنه ولی فعلا توی زمان کوتاهی که داشتیم این الان فعلا جوابش ولی هفته دیگه و هفته آینده یه جلسه کامل راجع به این هفته بزنیم. سوال تو یه مورد لطفا بولن بود بچه ها بشنم نشده بولن تا بود رسول اگه سوال رو نشده رسول سوال رو میخواستی بدونی؟ آره گفتم که توی تا صحبت های امروزش گفت هیچ آمول خارجی نمیتونه روی رفتارای بد ما تاثیر رو داره بعد یه آیه بهشون گفتم که اینجا داره اشاره میکنه که آمول خارجی هم میتونه تاثیر رو داره باشه لوها با بهشت و ایشون توضیح دادن که تعبیرش به این هست شما وقتی گناه میکنی ذهن ذهنت که تو رو دیگه به اون سمت میبره چیز دیگه این بچه هم اوتو تایمی کسایی که بچه هم Loving Lord God, we come before you and we thank you for the teaching of your word, the Bible, and we thank you for the work of your Son that has overcome sin and provided for forgiveness and the hope of a place in your kingdom. We ask that your kingdom will soon come and that we might be ready to take a place with Jesus at that time when we might serve you and honor you with immortal strength to reflect in every part of our lives the way that you would have us live. Until that time, help us with the challenges and difficulties of our lives, be with us day to day, and bring us through our problems that we might grow to be more like Jesus and less like those people who do not know you and choose to follow wicked ways. So bless us, we pray, and be with us, For we come to you through the name of Jesus.